Someone in the chat asking, what was your favorite trade of all time, Main? My favorite trade I ever took and one that got me quite popular on Twitter. This is all the way back in 2017. So I shorted the top in 2017 right here and I held this all the way down to 6,000. And this was probably one of my favorite trades. It wasn't my most profitable trade per se uh, because the numbers were just smaller back then in terms of my portfolio, but this is a breaker, right? And this was the top of the market and everyone had assumed that we were just gonna keep going higher. And effectively what I saw is I said, okay, well, we just took out this high that we had made and we just broke market structure here. So to me, this is 101. Any retrace to this zone is a sell with your stop here. And then I targeted all the way down into, you know, the kind of demand here, which if you go on the weekly, I think there's an order block there. Yeah, right here, here. And I held this trade all the way down. Um, and as we bounced every time we came down to that level, uh, people kept telling me that this is going to go up. But this is my favorite trade of all time. One, because it was super clean. I called it perfectly. I traded it perfectly. And two, because it was basically the Pico top. Like this was the end of the bull run and price declined 90% after this setup effectively, as you can see. So that's probably my favorite trade of all time. My least favorite trade of all time was ever using FTX. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got caught on that pretty badly, right? I was literally, and the same trade that I just showed you there, I took the same setup here. It's the exact same concept here, right? It's like, okay, well this, if we're back below this level, I'm bearish until we get back above there. Uh, so I was fully stabled this entire way and I was taking shorts and yeah, I took some trades and some longs as well, but I was fully stabled here and effectively, and I was in my telegram, I'm talking about this on discord, on YouTube. I'm like, I'm waiting for something big to happen because back here, I'm trying to remember what was the catalyst? I want to say it was BitMEX or something or something happened here. There's always a catalyst. Like the move's already going to happen, but there's usually something major that happens. And you're looking for that exchange to blow up, like something crazy that is that final push that forms the bottom. And it just happened to be the exchange I was using was the one that blew up. So all that money, I was in stable coins. That's what made it even more infuriating is I was telling people, I think, Below 20K, I think you buy Bitcoin. Even if it goes to 10K, I still think it goes much higher later. So I think it's a buy. Uh, and just to have all of that dry powder effectively taken away from me, I got all my money back, which is awesome. But that money was 10 times more valuable two years ago when they took it from me than it is now.